In today's video, I want to make a continuation to a previous video I made regarding random string generation. And it's related to the actual characters that we choose. So in that video, we looked at how to generate a random string using just the lowercase letters uh, from the English alphabet. But what if uh, we want really any type of uh, characters inside our random string? What if we want, for example, digits or uppercase letters and so on and so forth? Well, there's a solution for that. So we're going to still start off with a function. I'm going to copy and paste this uh, previous function that we had. I'm going to suffix it with underscore two. And uh, here we're going to have a different approach. So let's say we want to generate a string of characters that represents a hexadecimal number. What's a hexadecimal number? It's basically a, a uh, string of characters that has uh, digits from zero to nine and uh, letters from A to F. Okay, so that's all we're gonna allow our string to have. How do we do that? Well, first we're gonna have to create a another array. I'm gonna make it global this time. I'll say char, I say random characters. And um, in here, I'm going to just list all the characters I want in my string. In my case, it's gonna be all the digits and letters from A to F. And there we go. Uh, note here that I have specified the character zero, not the actual number zero here. So that's very important. All of these have to be characters. Next, I need the size of this array, right? So I need to know how many characters are inside this array. To do that, we can simply say here int, let's say random characters length equals, and that's going to just be size of random characters, right? random characters, divided by the size of char. And uh, why, why is that? That's because the size of random characters here actually is going to return uh, the size of the array in bytes, okay? And, uh, well, to know the number of elements, we simply have to divide it by the number of bytes inside each element in, in which case we have in this case we have characters so we're just divided by the size of characters so this is a very simple way of doing it here um for those of you that are more experienced you realize that the size of char is not needed here because it is after all it's just one but i'm gonna leave it here uh so that people understand what's going on um all right so now that we have this array and its size we can basically use the same for loop. So we're still going to need to use a for loop, of course, to uh, to go over each character in our string. And we're going to say str of i equals, and basically what we need here is something from random characters. I'm going to say random characters of some index. And that index itself has to be random. And the, the interval in which we can select an index from it is Basically, we can say random characters of zero, right? We can say of one, of two, but uh, the highest number we can go up to is random characters length. So random characters length minus one. That's the last index that we want. So we need a random number between those two numbers. And it's actually very simple. All we have to do here is just say rand, so call the rand function, and we're gonna say modulo the random characters length and this is going to give us a number between zero and random characters length minus one inclusive okay perfect and now we just have to say str of num equals zero just as above same exact thing now if we call this instead of random string we call random string two you will notice that we should be getting only numbers that uh, have these specified characters in them. And now if you actually want to, you can change this to be, let's say a plus, an equals, even a minus, why not? And if we launch this, we're gonna get, yep, we're gonna get those characters in the string as well. So this is a very flexible way of generating random strings of a set of characters. Now the more experienced of you would realize that uh, there are actually two more ways of generating strings that represent hexadecimal numbers that are probably much faster. And I actually do invite you to try to find those two ways of generating them. But for the sake of this video, I chose uh, using this 
array to generate the random characters inside our string simply because it's much more flexible and you can uh, mix and match any character you'd want. Alright, that's about it for this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Take care. Bye.